Okay, the pheasant tail neck. I'm going to be using a TMC 3761. This is a size 14. Start your thread just like we did the woolly bugger, wrapping it over itself. Move your thread to the rear of the hook. And for a tail, we're going to be using pheasant tail. You can see it's got separated fibers. What you want to do is you want to take and clip off just a small section. This is probably about eight fibers. I want to use the tips for the tail, so I'm going to pinch it. That's where the tips are going to be for the tail. Just a little shorter than the hook shank. And move it to the tail just like we did our woolly bugger. And tie it down. And clip off your excess. Now for our rig, we're going to be using copper wire. It's a size small. And we'll lay it across the hook shank. Tie it to the rear, about halfway up, and I'm going to again clip it and leave a little bit of a tag on there so I can push it back and then wrap back over it. And then stop your thread at the rear of the hook here. Now for our body, we're going to be using more pheasant tail fibers, but this time I'm going to clip off a little more. Pinch it, I'm going to transfer hands to where I'm holding the tips and the thicker butt section is going to be poking out the back. I'm going to tie it in by those tips. I'm going to move my thread up. Clip off the tag ends there. I'm going to stop my thread just barely beyond halfway of the hook shank because this is going to be our body and now we're going to this whole section will be for the wing case. I'm going to take all these fibers and I'm going to wrap them all together up to my thread. I'm going to tie it off. A few good wraps there. Clip off my butt section and tie the rest down. Now this wire, usually I have everybody wrap away from themselves. But the problem with doing that on this one is since these are all individual fibers, I can show you this wire will just kind of get buried in these fibers. And it won't add any strength to the fly. So when we're dealing with individual fibers, whether it be pheasant tail or, or any other, you know, turkey coil, any other individual fibers that we wrap for the body. We're actually going to wrap it the opposite way we wrapped our body. And that'll stand them up on top of those fibers and it'll lock them in place. And so if a fish eats it, their teeth can't shred these. This, these, this wire is locking everything down. So once you wrap that, I put about four wraps, you want them nice and evenly spaced. I'm going to clip it off. And then again, bend that wire back and wrap it back over itself. And I'm going to bring my thread right back to where the base is. So now we've completed the, the rear portion of the, of the fly, we just got to do the front now. So for a wing case, I'm going to clip another another group of pheasant tail fibers. I'm going to tie it in where the butts are pointing out front, about halfway from the tip to the butt. I'm just going to tie it directly on top.
Put up your butts. Wrap them all down nice. Move your thread back to where we tied in our main case. And this section here is called a thorax. And we're going to use peacock curl to fill that. So peacock curl comes strong. I'm going to grab about three fibers. I'm going to clip off these thick butts. And I'm going to tie it in where it starts to get flexible. And I'm going to move my thread to just behind the eye. And I'm going to twist these to get a little stronger. If you just wrap them as they are, they're going to kind of go all over the place. So I'm going to twist it. And then wrap them. Up to my thread. You can go back and forth if you want a little bigger thorax. Let me tie this off, lift them straight up above the eye, and then tie them down. And then clip them off. The reason it's, the reason it's important to tie things off on the top of the fly would be if you have a down eye hook. If I tie it off underneath, there's no way I'll be able to get my scissors in there to clear it out so I can actually thread the eye. If I tie it off on top like this, you can see I can clip it nice and close and I don't clog that eye. So now my fibers I have here, I'm just going to pull straight over the top and tie them down. Four or five wraps. Now I'm going to split them in half into a V. And I'm going to put three fibers on each side and any excess fibers you have you can just clip off. So you can see I've got three on each side. Now this middle one with my excess, I'm just going to pull up, clip off. So I've got a, a V with three on each side. I'm going to take one side, I'm going to pull it straight back on the side of the hook. I'm going to make a wrap. The other side, I'm going to do the same thing. Make a wrap. I'm going to pull it all back. And build a small little head. And these are going to imitate our legs. Now I'm just going to pull my thread down. Wood finish. Clip my thread. Now we just got to trim our legs down. So I'm going to clip them just barely past the wing case. See there, they're just they're about well, that one's a little long. They're about halfway down the body. And there you have your completed pheasant tail nymph.